We are all ravenous for knowledge and experience as we strive to make places of responsibility, character, and beauty. It is our colleagues' eagerness to share knowledge and experience, a hallmark of the new urbanism, that gives meaning to our endeavors. Indeed, their encouragement has prodded us to be ambitious about our engagements in a practice that spans the full range of contemporary concerns of human settlement. Smart growth, new urbanism, traditional and green building. Addressing the ever more contradictory goals of preserving environment, creating amenable social settings, and ensuring their long-term viability. In retrospect, it all adds up. I like to think of our work as a long process of enabling. Starting with that new coastal vacation community in Florida, that without setting out to do so, grew to encourage a generation to imagine that new traditional streets and buildings arranged in a certain way can make walking and knowing your neighbors desirable and fun. Seaside. Followed, of course, by numerous non-resort offspring in unsuspecting places such as Louisville, Norton Commons, and St. Louis, Newtown St. Charles. Or the rebuilding of an inner city neighborhood, Cleveland Central, that encouraged a federal agency in turn to reconsider its public housing holdings uh, and develop the Hope Six program. The establishment of an organization to convene, consolidate, and empower shared values and principles of community building, the Congress for the New Urbanism, which is headquartered now here in Chicago. Organizing post-disaster urban design and building proposals that have resulted in new methods and new products and even a federal agency's acknowledgement of the error of its trailer ways. In Mississippi, Louisiana, the Katrina Cottage. The integration of traditional urbanism with the modernist architectural expression of a 20th century subtropical city, Aqua. The regional plan that corrals economic data to provide a rationale for saving metropolitan farmland from development. The South Dade Agriculture Study the continuing engagement with the committed revivers of a historic New England state capital, Providence. The unraveling and rewriting of the voluminous zoning code of a sunbelt city, Miami 21, which ravels on. <laughs> the design of individual buildings as well for institutions, developers, and individual families. And one commissioning of a Leon Creer confection that has campus-wide users standing in line to reserve its use, the Jorge M. Perez Architecture Center at the University of Miami. There's much more, of course. I'm leaving various and many important things out. But this is a privileged trajectory, following what many have taught us to learn from history and to seek, expose, and illustrate the rational in design and building, or, if appropriate, even in not building. There is always the hope of emulating and reproducing the livability and grace of places that still exist to teach us, like Ortigia, where the marks of centuries of evolving cultures, Phoenician, Greek, Roman, Arabic, French, and Italian, provide an example of how we might enrich our own cities over time, with diversity that allows each culture its own place for integrity and respect. So whether in the academic world of generating and transmitting knowledge or in the realm of practicing placemaking, we hope that we have in some way contributed in making the urban environment more hospitable for the architecture this prize supports. The challenge ahead lies in the role that designers devoted to the evolution of tradition and classicism choose to play in, the, in that newly unified context of concern for the health of the planet and its inhabitants. Climate change allows two possible reactions, mitigation and, ad and adaptation. As architects and urban designers, we are positioned to implement the mitigation mandate of compact urbanism and reduced carbon emissions. And as well, to provide the adaptation alternatives of producing an environment independent of non-renewable resources. The precedent that we revere teaches us both strategies 
We have a powerful contribution to make, not by being defensive, but by engaging the ongoing discussion, proffering knowledge and work that is presented rationally, accessibly, and with the confidence that institutions such as this prize give us. Thank you.